I have a circuit here. I need to find the current I and also I need to find the resistance that is uh, can be seen from here. So whatever it is uh, AB maybe and then RAB like that. So when I look at this part I can see that there is a delta connection here. This is a delta connection. So if I uh, what I will see that if I convert this delta into a Y the finding equivalent resistance will be easier so I can see the delta nodes are this one this one and this one let's call it here so if I convert this delta into Y these three resistance these three are the delta resistances so if I convert them into Y it will be like this this one and this one so first what I will do I will try to find the value of this one so that one will be the formula will be we know that in the denominator goes sum of the three delta resistances so 30 plus 20 plus 50 oh, sorry that's so that's 50 uh, 50 here that's in the denominator and numerator will be since I am talking about this resistance so I will see what are the two resistances that are connected to this particular node in the delta connection that is 30 and 20 so it will be product of that 30 times 20 so that will be that will be the value of this resistance and that one is uh, here it is 100 and on top it is 30 times 20 uh, so basically it is just 6 ohms so I will actually redraw the circuit here and then this one is there so that is there that is there and this one and this one so this is my this part is my converted uh, y uh, converted y so the 13 24 10 so 13 ohms here 24 ohms here 10 ohms here and the one that I just found out is 6 ohms which goes there now if I want to find uh, another resistance maybe this one here again the numer denominator will be 100 so basically sum of the three delta resistances 30 plus 50 plus 20 so that's just the same thing 100 and on top on numerator will be I'm talking about this resistance now so it will be the two resistances that are connected to this node is 20 and uh, the two resistances are 20 and 50 so basically on top it will be 20 times 50 so that will be just 10 so 10 ohms there finally this uh, the bottom resistance this one so that one when I look at that one the denominator again will be 100 as usual and on numerator will be the two resistances that are connected at this node in the delta connection is 30 ohms and 50 ohms so basically 30 times 50 that will give me 15 ohms so this is the equivalent circuit now now what I can see I have a series connection here and I have a series connection here and these two are coming in parallel so basically if I, I haven't written the voltage here 240 volts and that's 13 ohms so if I add these two series that's 30 ohms now and these two added will be 20 ohms now so that's there and then 50, 15 is coming in series with the parallel combination so 15 ohms so that's my new circuit and then again moving on if I go to 13 ohms here the 13 ohms the original one and now I want to find the parallel uh, equivalent of 30 and 20 and that will be of course 30 times 20 over 30 plus 20 so so that one is 50 there and then 30 times 20 so that goes there and then 6 there so that's 12 12 ohms there and I had 15 ohms there in series so 15 ohms and there and I need to find the resistance that is seen here so basically I open this one and find the 
uh, equivalent resistance which is RAB and which is pretty much clear now it is the sum of these three resistances so that's 13 ohms plus 12 plus 15 which is 40 ohms that's the resistance seeing at RAB or the equivalent resistance or the resistance that the power supply experiences so that's 240 volts now we needed to find the current as well and that's pretty simple current will be the supply voltage which is 240 over the resistance that is uh, that this one so basically the circuit reduces to just the 40 ohms and uh, 240 volts there so current will be just 240 over 40 which is 6 amps so that's the current